Okay, welcome to week one, um, our week one game. And this week's game, remember we're learning about forests and trees and all the animals that live um, in, in forests. So this week's game is hunt for food. Now, we're been, we've been talking about habitats, and a habitat ha is an area where, where birds and animals and plants live, and that habitat has everything they need to survive, just like food. And um, just like in our, our Robin story, uh, Mama was feeding Robin a worm, right? They needed food um, to, to live. So for this game, we're going to pretend um, that we're birds and we have beaks, and we're going to pretend that we're hunting for, for worms and food um, in our habitat. So in your um, bag, we're going to get out this felt sheet, um, maybe a different color, and I'm going to point my camera down so that you can see my table. So we're going to put down our felt sheet, and then you should have two types of pipe cleaners. Um, so you're going to take some pipe cleaners and a pair of scissors, um, which are not included, and we're going to cut our pipe cleaners into some worm shapes. Or if there's another type of insect that you would like, you can uh, turn them into another type of, of insect or, or plant or, or anything else. But I'm going to make worms for this activity. So I'm just using my scissors. You can ask a guardian for help. Ask them to, to help you cut your pipe cleaners. And now, you can take your pipe cleaners and you can bend them into different shapes if you would like. Or you can make a different type of bug or insect, but I'm just going to make some wavy worms. And then we're going to place them um, on our felt sheet. And our felt sheet uh, is, is supposed to be our grass, okay? Because remember the worms Worms live under the ground, but the birds are really good with their beaks and they can go down and find the worms in the ground and pick them up. So you can spread them out on this sheet, or if you would like, you can, um, with your guardian's permission, you can ask them to, to spread them out um, throughout your house or in your backyard if you want to do kind of a scavenger hunt and, and, and hunt for worms. Um, but now you're going to get out um, this clipper, this clothespin. And um, birds, they have beaks, right? They have beaks, and that's what they, they use to find their worms um, and to eat them. So we're going to pretend that this clothespin is our beak, okay? It's going to open and close and catch a worm. So uh, we can use it on, on this felt sheet or you can hide them but we're going to pretend that we're birds and that we're very very hungry and we need to find something to eat in our habitat and in the grass in our in trees so we're going to take our, our clothespin and we're going to pick a worm that we want and we're going to try to pick it up and now we have a worm now we're not going to eat these worms like the birds are because these are not real worms. But if you were a bird, we're still pretending that we're birds and uh, we're, we want to collect as many worms as we can. The more food we have, the better. That way we're not hungry and we make sure that we can live. So we're just going to keep pretending that we're birds. We're really hungry with our beak and we're just going to keep trying to find, find these worms. If you want to, you can uh, ask a guardian to, to look at the clock and see how fast you can do this. How many worms can you catch really, really fast? Now that might be hard, but you can. sometimes it's hard to pick these up. So maybe see how fast you can catch all of these different worms. Or you can hide them and see how fast you can, can find and, and hunt for worms. And that's it for, for this week's game. Um, so your next activity um, is an optional activity.
but um, it's a really fun activity where you go to an actual um, forest and you do a scavenger hunt. So I'll talk about that in the next video.